human. Hey, hey, YouTube, what's going on? Texas Triple Tapper here, bringing to you guys another out of the box gun review. Uh, just picked this bad boy up today. Um, I know you guys have seen me do quite a, quite a few uh, SIG reviews. Um, as I've said in every single video that I make, I am a huge fan of SIG Sauer. Their quality is impeccable, and I just, I, I, I love the guns. So call me fanboy if you wish. Um, <laughs> I guess I am. I really, I, I love their stuff. So, this one is, let's get this bad boy open. See all the neat stuff in here. Lots of stuff to read through. Ah, the PS de Resistance. Let me pull the mag out. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Sig Sauer. 1911 Nightmare model. It's a it's a smaller version of the uh, full size Sig, which I'll pull into the video uh, in a minute just to do a uh, a comparison sake. Um, this weapon is just expertly crafted. I mean, it is it is just phenomenal. Um, the weight is is perfect. Um, it even has some of the newer ones now. And see see how it has that curve right there. So when it goes into the palm of your hand, it, it kind of fits more rounded and it's not kind of digging into your hand. Not, not that, the, uh, that the other ones really dig in, but I mean, this one, this one is really, really a pleasure to shoot. Um, I really like that it comes with two magazines. Uh, they both, hold on, let me get the other one out. If I can get it out, it's kind of stuck in there kind of molded to the plastic okay it's because we're down in Texas and the shit melted um, as you can see it comes with two eight round magazines so you can put one in the chamber and of course eight in the magazine um, this is what came with this one I'm just gonna take these out and set them over here and get this box out of the way I do I always I like the the cases that that SIG uh, comes with they're they're very sturdy and handy um, you know, if you want to carry the weapons around in that. Um, here, just for comparison's sake, here are the two magazines for the full size. And as you can see, nothing's in the round. I mean, I'm sorry, no round in the chamber. Um, keep in mind, this one does have the uh, compensator on it. But just for comparison's sake, we'll do like a little little side by side, as you can see. I mean, they're almost the same length. I mean, this one's, I think, a tad bit longer. If we put it on here, it, you know, it becomes more noticeable. The, um, the grips seem to be exactly the same. Um, but, you know, this one definitely has a, a heavier feel to it. And I, the only thing, if I had to choose one thing about this weapon that I'm just not crazy about is just this kind of this plastic grip um this wood grip although they both have the the checkered you know that rough kind of pattern this one it's just not quite as comfortable uh in in the hand in in my opinion so i'll definitely be changing that out i mean it looks like it's just you know two uh allen wrench screws on both sides very easy to change out um it does come with the uh upgraded night sights which is nice it's got the uh, offset uh, color, like more of the stainless uh, slide lock and um, safety. And it's got the uh, same thing with the, uh, with the uh, magazine release. It's nice and extended, so it's very easy to get to. Um, lock it there, and, and you know, of course the safety works the same. Nice, pronounced beaver tail just to kind of see a side-by-side -side comparison. I just got finished uh, shooting this one at the range and then I went ahead and purchased this one. So this one's a little, that's why it looks a little bit funky, but here's, here's the really cool thing. So these are the magazines that are for this one. So I'm gonna take one from here and watch this. Fits in there without a problem, locks to the rear. No worries, and we'll do it with the other one. Locks to the rear, slides out, no problem. 
And then now, so I'm gonna take one of the magazines from this one, we're gonna put it in here. Locks to the rear. No problem, just to do the other one. No problem. So that's really, really cool. Magazines are fully interchangeable. And you can tell, if you look at the top, which ones go with which gun. You can see these are the new ones. There's no uh, scoring or you know scuff marks on them from loading the rounds. And I mean, they're all identical. So that's really, really nice if I, you know, want to take this one out and uh, not take this one or vice versa. I mean, I can have, you know, 32 rounds, you know, loaded to go, which is almost a full box. And of course, if I wanted, I could buy more. But I mean, I'm just saying for uh, simplicity's sake, it's nice that the magazines are uh, interchangeable. So um, what else can I tell you about this weapon? It, I like that it has, I don't know if this is technically technically considered a skeletonized trigger. I believe the hammer is skeletonized. As you can see, the difference, this hammer, I mean hammer, uh, trigger is uh, solid. Um, the uh, It is adjustable. You can adjust the, 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 the travel, which I, which I will do. I'll set it to, you know, kind of my uh, specifications. Um, I mean, just a, just a phenomenal, phenomenal weapon. And like this one, you can put a compensator and just, you know, change out this, this front bushing here very, very, very easily, um, which I'll, I'll be ordering. Um, I will be ordering one of these, these compensators for this because I really, I really like the way that it, that it helps, you know, keep the, keep the weapon on, on target more. Um, I, I shot this for quite some time without the compensator and now I, I, I absolutely just, just love it. I mean, I can put rounds very, very quickly, very tight group, uh, with, with no, no problems at all. Um, another key difference that you see is that this one has the rail and this one, this one does not, um, you know, uh, of course, because I mean, it is, it is much smaller. I don't know that you could, uh, you know, I mean, I guess you could theoretically put, put a rail there, but I mean, you know, it's just not on there. So, um, I do have a uh, laser sight that I don't really use on that one, but it is, it is possible. Um, looks to me to have the, um, upgraded, uh, match barrel stainless beautiful beautiful craftsmanship again with the sig really really like it um can't say enough about it it's just it's just a wonderful wonderful gun um you know the sights are both adjustable um you know and they're it's 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 very very accurate so um hope you guys enjoyed this review um you know i'll probably do some more after I, you know, put this one to the test. But I mean, to be honest, I don't expect anything less than, um, you know, SIG quality, which is what I've come to expect. I mean, that's like synonymous with excellence in my book. So um, until next time, Triple Tapper out.